Listen, there's something going on in the spirit realm that your inward man can give you insight into if you just stop getting so carried away with the outer man. You're so, listen, you're carried away with looking at them and they dissing you and won't recognize you and won't give you props and all that kind of crazy stuff. When there's more to it than that, they hate the light that's on the inside of you. Because the inner man wants to bring you into revelation concerning some things, but if you don't feed him the word, he can't talk to you. Because the inner man only operates by the diet that you feed him. They talk about you. They run your name down. They, listen, and you think it's because of you. You think it's because of the new outfits you bought. You think it's the new car you're driving. You think it's the new house. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the light that's on the inside of you. Because the light that's on the inside of you automatically offends those who are in darkness. And every time the light is turned on, listen, darkness is expelled. So when you step into a room, the demons in them tremble because here come the light. He's given us pastors after his own heart to feed us with knowledge and understanding. So when those days come to pass that we're multiplied and increased, we're not going to be looking and trying to find the presence of God. The presence of God is right here with us because he's given us pastors after his own heart. They might have thought it sounded crazy because they never did that before. But the Bible says that they had crossed over from carnality to spirituality. They were now spiritual and they were able to hear the instructions of God. So when the people in the church are baptized with the Holy Spirit, they're able to hear the instructions from their pastors which come from God and they move out. Why? Because the Holy Spirit on the inside of them connects with that word from God. And no matter how ridiculous it sounds, they do it.